Hey guys, so this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we will share some of the tips and tricks you can do on the Lumia 532. So the Microsoft Lumia 532 is the latest budget smartphone in the 500 series which was launched a couple of weeks back and now it's available in India and uh, this device is priced 6499 we already done the detailed review of the device along with the camera performance and also the gaming performance of this device now let's go ahead and see some of the tips and tricks which you can do with this device so some of these uh, options are not really any hidden tips and tricks so they are basically features but we are going to explain how to do stuffs on this device so we'll start off with the settings so first let's open the settings uh, so click open the settings and uh, you can see this is start plus theme so start plus theme uh, we already know that uh, you can uh, choose a background option uh, you can see here you can choose a background uh, for the uh, start screen and you can choose the color now another option here is that if you scroll down you can see there, there is an option sh to show more tiles so if you just swipe here it will show a third row of tiles that is basically it has only two row of tiles on the start screen now if you if you choose more tiles and slide this option you have an additional row of uh, tiles on the start screen so we'll just show you that so you can see here two rows of tiles and the third row is available here so that's what happens when you choose additional tiles so basically what it does is if you don't want uh, to scroll the start screen you can uh, include all the tiles what we have on the start screen into third row uh, but having said that this will make the tiles uh, still uh, smaller so it will not be very easy to use because it's just a 4 inch device so if you want more tiles you can just enable this option so that's uh, additional tiles on the start screen so that's option one now going to the notification plus action center so this was announced along with the 8.1 update and now we have an option to customize the actions so there are four tiles available so you can see here four tiles that is a quick uh, toggles available now you can customize this toggle by clicking here you can select uh, whichever tile uh, you want there you can have uh, at the max of four tiles since it's a small display you can have only four tiles so click on each of this tile to select what you have what you want on the notification center so let's uh, just choose here so from here you can just select mobile data then bluetooth i'll just turn the battery saver and uh, now you can see here you can enable or disable mobile data from here so that's the option uh, so uh, that's how you can customize this notification center so that's very useful uh, feature if you want uh, if you if you're using particular set of toggles pretty frequently you can customize these toggles from uh, the notification center now we have the vpn support so you can just configure vpn so if you want to use uh, uh, the private network you can uh, configure from here that's uh, we already done a video on that so we'll not go into details here now we have the app corner so app corner is one uh, useful feature we just rolled out last year so app corner let you uh, lets you to give people access to selected apps on your phone so basically what it does is uh, it will have a customer see if you're giving your phone to somebody else and you want uh, that person only to access certain apps uh, and features then what you can do is you can set up apps corner so uh, you can uh, uh, you can see here it, th this app corner will give you a customized start screen when they use the phone so you can select the apps here so all the list of apps available will be available and you can select the apps and once you click uh, it will start installing the apps for that particular uh, start screen now you can see that uh, if you want that action center to happen on that uh, uh, app corner you can enable it from here uh, in the advanced settings uh, you can see that camera button can be enabled start button back button modify tiles so these options are available uh, uh, to custom to choose basically you are giving permission to these uh, options so if you don't uh, have uh, the camera button uh, the person will not be able to use the camera so that's the option so and uh, he can only he or she can only access these uh, options these apps which are customized in the app corner can be only accessed you can also enable access to settings so if, in, if it's now decided you can just turn it off now uh, you can start the app corner so it says apps are installing you'll be able to launch the app corner when the installation is complete uh, so that's the right now it's uh, installing the apps for that particular user uh, so you can uh, enable that uh, once it is done so you can also 
pin the tile and once you click that app uh, corner it will automatically start the app corner and it will have access to only uh, these features so one important thing to note with app corner is that you always protect your phone with a password since uh, app corner can be disabled anytime so you can see exit app corner press and hold the power button and swipe right so that's uh, that's how you uh, disable app corner so if you if you're giving uh, a phone to somebody else uh, with app corner configured that person can always exit the app corner and uh, go back to the normal screen so for to disable that option what you have to do is you have to set a password uh, for your phone so even if the person disables the app corner it will uh, it will always ask the password since that person will not have access to password he'll not be able to use the phone uh, like uh, what you use it uh, on a regular basis so that's how app corner has to be has to be configured you can also uh, pin the app corner to the start screen so whenever you want to launch it so you can see here whenever you want to launch it uh, you can uh, access it from here and then uh, quickly launch the app corner so it's now not uh, enabled because apps are still installing similarly also have kids corner so kids corner is like setting up uh, uh, games and videos which can be accessed by kids and only access will be available to those games and uh, videos so that's uh, similar to what we have already we already discussed about kid cor kids corner on our youtube channel so you can check out uh, the detailed video on how to set up kids corner now we have the battery saver so battery saver has gone in for a change here uh, with respect to the latest update so you can see here there is an usage option so click the usage option and you can see uh, you can see the apps which are uh, using the battery the most so if you, if you feel certain app is using the battery uh, uh, a lot more than other apps you can always disable that app from the background so that will not be available and it you can increase the battery performance so you can also show apps with uh, usage all apps all apps that can be run in the background so you can customize uh, how you want to list out these apps so you can also see here uh, the apps uh, in use background so these are the options uh, uh, it will show so in the background it will take people and outlook is taking a lot of uh, battery usage and uh, Kotana you can see it is in use so that's how you can uh, see the battery uh, use usage on your device now uh, data sense uh, this is uh, we already discussed data sense you can set the limit to uh, the data uh, usage on your device by setting a limit and you can restrict background data once the limit is reached so that's another option then uh, storage sense uh, you can make uh, uh, you can see here once you insert this uh, sd card you can make uh, uh, the default write disk as the sd card so you can uh, store new music uh, photos apps and uh, downloads on directly onto the sd card so that's one really useful option uh, available on windows phone now you can enable a screen rotation on your device you can see here you can enable screen rotation when the rotation lock is on your screen will stay the current uh, orientation when you rotate your phone so you can uh, lock it if you don't want uh, the screen to rotate then uh, project my screen uh, that is if you want to access the device screen on any other uh, projected uh, media like the tv or other devices you can uh, find um, uh, you can project uh, your device so you can see a display on tv monitor or projector now there are other options like backup, passing my settings, driving mode, uh, quiet hours. So quiet hours needs uh, uh, Cortana to be enabled. So we already done a video on how to enable Cortana. So you can just go to the uh, speed settings and download uh, uh, the U English United Kingdom or English United States language pack and then uh, set as the default language pack and then Cortana will be enabled. So this uh, um, this option uh, that is a quiet hours uh, will require Cortana to be enabled. So going down you can see another option called uh, glance screen so glance screen what it does is uh, it will show the clock as well as uh, uh, the notifications even when the display is off so we'll just first we'll just show you the glance screen so it will also show the notifications in case there is any notification so that's uh, the useful option so you can see glance screen uh, options available uh, so you can set uh, always on or interval uh, after time out 15 minutes uh, so if you want a uh, glance screen to be available all the time you can select always on or you can turn off uh, uh, glance screen after 15 minutes you can see quick uh, notification status is enabled here then um, you can see that there is also a night mode so if you want to change the night mode settings here you can select the color here so there are a couple of colors available so and you can set the start time and end time for glance screen during uh, night so that's the glance screen option so going down you can see there is a touch option 
so touch option there are a couple of things one is uh, double tap to wake very useful feature so if the display is turned off you can double tap on the display to wake it up so that's the option enabled then uh, this navigation bar you can have a vibrate option whenever you touch the vibe the uh, the keys so that's enabled here now we have a network plus option so here there is one useful option so what smart dual uh, sim card uh, option uh, allows you to do is uh, this device has dual sim card so if you have inserted both the sim cards and uh, if one sim card is unavailable the calls coming on to that sim card will be forwarded uh, to the second sim card so that's how you uh, define here so you can see here uh, you can see smart dual sim card uh, currently since, since the device does not have sim card it's turned off calls are forwarded to the available sim if the intended sim is unavailable so this will obviously have extra charges uh, but if you use uh, dual sim card settings uh, you can uh, configure this here so that's very useful option that's if if a sim card is unavailable the calls to that sim card will be forwarded you can also see there is a voice call counter so the, uh, it, it will show you the voice call you have done with this uh, device so that's another useful uh, option to see how much uh, calls you have done now we have the device hub so device hub what it does is uh, it will it will show all the connected uh, and accessories tablets computers everything what is connected to the phone will be shown here so you can see if you click next uh, it will say um, all the connected devices uh, will be available uh, here so see the last place your device was used so a lot of things are there uh, in uh, device app so you can see here devices connected uh, uh, and the devices which are nearby here so that's the device app now if you go to the phone settings uh, you can see here there is a option to enable the text reply uh, whenever there is a call so you can edit replies so uh, four replies can be customized here uh, so basically if you don't want to accept the call and send an sms you can do it from here uh, so that's the option here so uh, it text reply is turned on right now uh, then there is you can switch to video calls using skype so that's option available so in case uh, you want additional app you can get an app and uh, customize uh, the experience here now if you go to the stew you have an option to enable uh, password protection for your uh, stew settings that will that is uh, if you want uh, in-app purchases to be disabled uh, or uh, available only with the password you can do that with uh, pin settings and you can also automatically update uh, apps uh, using uh, this option and you can see only get updates over wi-fi or you can even uh, update uh, via 3g so that's the options available here so these are some of the tips and tricks you can do on the lumia 532 so the budget smartphone from microsoft so hope you like this video if you have any questions just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day